Poison Tree, Guitar Tabs and Guitar Lesson. So I'm doing a bit of a, uh, a lazy, kind of cheat, drop D flat tuning here. Um, all, I'm, all I'm changing are the bottom two strings uh, from a regular standard. I'm going the low E down to that D flat, and then uh, just to get the open power chord of it, I'm doing the A to an A flat. Okay, so we're taking the the low E three half steps or a half step and a whole step and the A just down a half step so that we get the the D flat uh, power chord there. Um, everything else I'm just leaving the same. D, G, B, and E string, just leaving them there, it's fine. Um, if you were a real stickler for D flat tuning, you could take everything down uh, a half step as well, and then just play those strings a fret higher than the tabs are showing. If you're a stickler for drop D flat tuning, but for me, I just kind of want to get to what I need and then call everything else good. So with this, it's basically a couple keyboard riffs just over the top of each other, and then this varying kind of bass thing happening. Um, for the keyboard riffs, uh, the first one, and these both just kind of loop, so the first one, kind of a higher thing going on, and it's 13D, 11, 13G, then we go 11, 12, 11B, then back the way we came with the 13, 11G, and like I said, that just cranks out and just carries over the top of everything. And then there's a second one, uh, a little fainter in the background, and it's just kind of doing this downward arpeggiation here of these uh, three notes. So we got the 2D, 1G, open B. And that's just all that's doing. The uh, bass riffs, uh, like I said, here we're just doing the drop D flat and a drop A flat. So got that going. And this is really where we need that is because we're doing, starting with the open D flat, just bouncing between those two strings. Something like that kind of feel to it. Then it'll come up here to the seventh fret. Uh, hits a couple of the low sevens, seven on the A flat, seven... D flat, 7 A flat. One more 7 on the D flat. Down to 5s. A couple 5s are on the D flat. 5 A flat, 5 D flat. Bounce between those a couple times. Okay, that type of deal. And uh, for the composition of this, it happens twice in the intro, then it carries through twice into the, the verse, and also the second verse, it'll start out with that twice. Uh, but then we move on to uh, this section, which are basically the way the verses end. And then for the bridge and the outro, this part just repeats four times. And as well for the outro, it just kind of slows down to a gradual stop there. And basically, it just, instead of just starting over back at the opens, it goes to threes. All right, and it carries that out uh, as many times as we would usually do the opens. come off to opens for a couple back and forths and then quickly do a couple sevens all right down to the fives for a couple back and forths at the end of the verses uh, this just kind of goes through once and then it'll go back to that previous section for a couple um, but during the bridges and the outro this part here just repeats by itself uh, a few times